Alright guys, so whether you're riding in a buggy, a jeep, a truck, whatever, if you're off-roading, one of your best friends is going to be your winch. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a bench test on your winch and uh, and worst case scenario, even get yourself out of a sticky situation if the remote quits working or the relay is bad but the motor's still good. guys so for most of these winches uh, whether it be a smitty built a worn a badlands they all pretty much are set up the same uh the only difference may be that these two posts may be straight in line but if you got three posts this is how it's going to be set up so you're going to have a hot wire that runs from your battery and you're going to run it up to one of these two armatures here so if you run it up to this one and then you connect these two you got a ground wire that goes around underneath as soon as you supply the voltage to this one with these two connected to each other, this winch is going to turn one direction. To turn it and go, make it go the other direction, you're going to do the same thing. These two posts will be connected instead of these two. And then you're going to connect your positive to the other. Now, if you're on, on a bench doing a bench test, you have to make sure there's usually a lug on the side or underneath for that ground. Make sure you have that hooked up and that, and that way this will go the other direction. Um, if it's on the vehicle, as long as your ground is good, you can just run a, a hot wire straight to this one and then connect these two and it'll spin, do vice versa, and it'll do the other. So follow me and we'll I'll show you how it's done. All right guys, so we're completely bypassing the, the box right this moment. What we got is the hot wire here, ran up to the battery, and I'm using my grounds off my jumper cables to connect these two posts. Now if I go with this side, it'll spool in one way. If I switch these around, put this one on the back one, and connect this one. Now remember, like I said, I already have a good ground. The ground's hooked up in here, and I know it's good. So uh, if I had it on a bench, I want to make sure that I ran this ground over to my battery as well, and then connect these two, and then run my hot. So what this does though, is it tells you that the motor's still good. So then, I'll shoot another video later on how to test the relays. Guys, hopefully this helps you out. Like I said, uh, I'll shoot a video on how to test the relays, uh, check your grounds and all that stuff later. But uh, for right now, I just wanted to sh hurry up and show you how to do a bench test. And uh, if that winch quits working, don't just toss it. Figure out what's wrong with it.